which is a thin, tube-like instrument used to see inside the body. In order to access the fat deposits that will be lifted during the procedure, the physician may use blunt forceps to elevate the underlying tissues. Working toward the mouth, they carefully lift the tissue, creating a small tunnel in the mid-face. Using a retractor, the physician will expose the inside of the mouth and make two small incisions along the gum line. As before, using blunt forceps, they carefully elevate the tissues in the lower portion of the mid-face to open the region between the upper and lower incisions. The physician will place what are known as suspension sutures in the fat deposits that have migrated downward with time. By threading the sutures through the incision in the hairline, the physician elevates the fat deposits and suspends them in a higher position. In doing so, the physician restores soft, round contours to the mid-face. Once the physician has finished making the necessary adjustments to the underlying structures, they may choose to place a surgical drain beneath the skin to prevent fluid buildup as you heal, although this is typically not necessary. The incisions in the hairline and the mouth will then be closed using sutures. While some physicians prefer not to use bandages, others may apply a loose-fitting wrap or a compression garment to facilitate healing. A compression garment is tight-fitting and will help to reduce swelling by preventing fluid buildup, as well as provide comfort and support as you heal. Although loose bandages may be removed in several days, compression garments are often worn for a few weeks. As with any surgical procedure, you